Okay, open up Google Earth and then under temporary places right click and add folder. And for the name you'll just name uh, your utility name and then in parentheses put the station code. And left click OK. Now from here you'll want to find um, the location or general location of where you're going to draw. In this case I'll type in a zip code and then click enter or hit the uh, search uh, key. And you can look around using the pan um, and uh, directional keys. You can zoom in grab uh, the map by left clicking and dragging and I found my general location. Now you can also search by address and that will get you even a little bit closer. And now we're ready to add a point, also called a place mark. And here what we'll do is we'll name it our station code, then five zeros and a one because it's the first object. And then we'll put in parentheses the buffer and what it equals. In this case, we'll make it a 100-foot buffer. And I'm going to drag that um, particular point to exactly where I want to be notified at. If I wanted to, I could change the icon. In this case, I won't. Go ahead and draw one more. And this will be object number two. And it doesn't have to be the same buffer uh, zone they can be different depending upon your needs. I'm going to go ahead and drag it to its location and hit OK. Alright, in this case I'm going to use the ruler tool and I'm going to use it to help me determine where I'm going to draw a line. Now you can use this based upon a location you know and how many feet off uh, your particular lines are from say the right of way. In this case, I'm just uh, basically finding out 150 feet from an intersection is where I want to start, and then another 8 to 10 feet off of the road. And now I'll go ahead and draw my line, which is called a path. and I'm just left clicking to add points and there I decided okay I screwed up so I right clicked and that'll actually delete you notice if you left click and drag it'll actually automatically create a bunch of different um, vertices and right now I'm just deleting them by right clicking them. Just like with the points that we drew we'll also name this with the station code and this happens to be the third object and we'll put a buffer size on it. And I'm going to go ahead and change the style of it to red to make it a little easier to see. And hit OK.
And I'll go ahead and, and uh, draw a second line. Make sure you left click on that dialog box for the new path in order to be able to type in there. Um, this is object 4 and uh, again you don't have to use the same buffer size necessarily. It just depends upon your needs. Okay, lastly, we're going to draw a polygon, or a couple polygons. And I'm just left clicking, and it'll add vertices wherever I left click at. And then I right click to delete a vertice, and left click to add. And I'm dragging this, I'm basically holding my left mouse key down and dragging it to wherever I want it. It's the fifth object, so it would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, And there will be no buffer on polygons because they're already generalized areas, so you'll just tag it with 0, 0.0 space FT for feet. Now here I'm going to make it easier to see because that um, right now is so bright and white you couldn't actually see what's underneath. So I'm going to make the opacity 30 percent and make it red. And I'll draw a second polygon. And that's basically it. Um, now you need to save your coverage by right clicking, save place as, then make sure you know what folder it's going to. In this case it's already named how I want it to so I just click save. And it saves as a KMZ file.